In the last video, we saw how we can create splits, layers, and crossfades between the multiple parts based on note range. In this video, we're going to look at working in velocity mode. Now we get the range of velocities horizontally here. I'm going to right click and add a part. And I'm going to start by adding on maybe this Clever Girl melody. So it's kind of a thin sound, but it's spread out over the whole velocity range. Now we can edit the same way. If I drag the range by dragging in the middle, we're only going to hear it at those velocities, but not at higher velocities. And that doesn't matter where we hit on the keyboard. So what I'm going to do is drag it out, or actually just move it. I want to hear this sound only on the louder velocities. And then I'm going to right click here and add another one. I'm going to add the tube radio keys and have this one happen throughout the velocity range. So when I hit quieter, I'm hearing only that. And when I hit harder, I'm going to hear both of them. And I think I'm going to go into the mixer and just bring down this one a bit and bring this one up a bit. And let's go back there. So we hear a bit more bite on top. So what I'm going to do is just stretch it out a bit and I'm going to add a fade in here so that I can have it fade in rather than just hearing it trigger on off at one specific velocity. So when I play quieter, I'm hearing just that. And over a range, I'm hearing both until it fades up to that. I think I might still bring this one down a little bit. And let's try that again. So that works nicely. Now let's get rid of these. And I'm going to start again. And by the way, we can also right click here and bring up a browser. If you want to change the actual patch loaded into one of the parts, we can do that as well. Now let's work in CC mode. And I have it set at CC 25 here. And this becomes a scale for the range of CC values. So let's start with this pad fade to green. And let's straighten it out and put it across the whole range. I'm just going to drag this end out like that. And we're using CC25. And by the way, we have a display menu here. I'm viewing the name of the patch, but we can optionally show the part number or both together, which I think I'll do for now. I'm going to right click and add another part in. I'm going to add in part six Euro melodies. And right now, if I dial up my knob here, CC25, it'll come on when it reaches that value. But I don't like that. I think I want to have a really long, slow, gradual crossfade up. So I'm going to bring it all the way to the beginning, actually, and just do a really long fade in all the way like that so I can dial up the blend of it and have it ease in slowly. So that's how we can use a MIDI continuous controller as a means of crossfading in this case between the different parts. I'm going to end off here, and in the next video, we're going to look at the latch and trigger modes.